Hey guys, I need to talk to you about something. <clears throat> so, I I want to talk to you about God. And if you have a, a minute, or a couple of minutes, please watch this. So, at the start, where it was Adam and Eve, they they both sinned, they both disobeyed God. And... And that's what separated us from God. Their sin. That's what separated us <clears throat> from God. And sin was this, that is the thing that was separating us from our, our Father. So, God didn't want to see us to suffer. Because it states in Romans chapter 3 verse 23. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. <clears throat> so we all have fallen short. We all have fallen short of the glory of God. Because of our sin. Which our sin leads to death. So. That's what separated us. So God didn't want to see us suffer. That's why he gave his son. <clears throat> John chapter 3, verse 16, for God so loved the world. He loved us so much. <clears throat> he loved us so much that he sent his only son. Here's the verse. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. <clears throat> he didn't want to see us to suffer or to die. That's why he sent his son. Jesus Christ into the world. <clears throat> he didn't want us. He didn't want. He wanted to have a relationship with us. So he sent his son. Jesus Christ. To die on the cross for us. He sent him down. For us. He sacrificed him. For us. When, when he died on that cross, when he nails in his hand a crown of thorns planted on his head, whipped, laughed, spat at, made fun of, forced to carry a heavy cross, and yet he had all that endurance. Guess what? It, where it came from? It came from God. God gave him that endurance, that strength <clears throat> to keep on going. And... I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I, I didn't know what to do at the start of this video, but I just followed what with God wanted me to say. So let's continue on. So when he died on that cross, he was guilty of every single sin in the entire world. Because he died for your sins, our sins. He died for us. And three days later, he rose again from the dead by God's power. And he ascended to heaven. And now he is sitting at the right hand of our Father, who art in heaven. So, I want to ask you guys to please let God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, into your life. Please repent of your sins. Believe in him. Make him Lord and Savior. Lord of Lord, King of Kings, Savior of Savior of your entire lot in, in your entire life. Guys, please. And I encourage you to also make another video. Even if you don't know what you're gonna say, please just make another video. To spread the gospel, spread God's word. I encourage you guys to please do so. I encourage you guys to please repent of your sins. Believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross and rose again three days later. Believe that it is by grace, by faith that you are saved. Have faith in Jesus Christ and God. He is coming back very, very soon. And I do not want you guys to be stuck in hell for I love you guys all so much. Please believe that God sent him down since he loved us so much. He was so full of grace, love, and mercy. He sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross. And then he rose again three days later for our sins. 
our sin is what separates us from God. But now we can have a relationship with God through it is from through and because Jesus' blood, we can now our sins can now be forgiven. Without his blood, we're not forgiven. Without the shedding of his blood, we're not forgiven. Without him, we're not forgiven. And he's the pathway. He's the light, the truth. And no one can go through God. No one can go through God except through him. So please, guys, accept Jesus Christ into your life. Make him Lord of Lord, King of Kings, Saviors of Saviors of your entire lives. Turn to him. Repent. Guys, please. I do not want to see you guys to die. I want to see you guys not. I do not want to see you guys in hell. Because it's a real place. And I... Do not want to see you guys go down there. So please ask for forgiveness. Turn to God. Believe that he died. That he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to, to die on the cross for our sins. And he rose again from the dead three days later. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. God bless you all. God loves you. Bye. And before you guys go, I want you guys to praise God with me. Copy what I say and please mean it when you do. <laughs> say it. Father God, I thank you for sending your only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross and rose again. For I believe that he did. He died on the cross, rose again three days later. And by the power of God, he rose again three days later. I want to make him Lord over my entire life, and now I'm willing to. Helping to take the next step, helping to repent and believe in your son's name, Jesus Christ. Help us to turn away from sin and to turn onto you. Thank you so much. I praise you. I thank you. Thank God today for forgiving his son. His the ultimate sacrifice, guys. I want you guys to turn to God to thank him. And I thank him right now. Repeat after me. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for your son's sacrifice, what he endured on the cross. Thank you, God. You deserve all the praise, honor, and glory, worship in the world. Thank you, God. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you all. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. God loves you. God bless you all. Bye.